Hi guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Amy Marietta and today I'm going to be showing you a super easy way to make your own Instagram filter. I'm going to show you a few different types. So I'll show you how to make a vintage film style border. Add some dust to it to make it more, you know, that vibe everyone is going for, the retro cam type. Also, I'll teach you how you could put any overlay over your photo and also how to smooth the skin, which is very important when making a filter. This tutorial is super, super easy. If I can do it, you can do it. And if you don't understand the first go round, don't get discouraged. Just rewatch it. It took me a few tries to totally understand, but once you understand the whole layout of the software, it's gonna be super, super easy and you're gonna have so much fun making these. So I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and comment below, like, subscribe, all those fun things. And if you have any questions, DM me on Instagram. My handle is, I'm gonna put it up there, it's at Amy Marietta, my name. And yeah, so that's it. I hope you guys enjoy it. First thing you're gonna need is Spark AR, which is a free software. So this is what it's gonna look like. And I only have one project in here so far. Um, so go to create new. And depending on what you want to make today, I'm going to do a blank project. But if you want to do something more complicated, do face decoration, makeup, background, they get pretty complicated. So we're just going to start with a blank project. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is go to the camera and do the FaceTime HD camera built-in. Okay, so <laughs> and if you don't have to do the FaceTime HD, I usually have mine covered anyways, cause like creepy people, but you go to FaceTime HD camera, start that. And then we're gonna go to add object. We're gonna do face tracker. And then we're going to do control or right click, whatever you're into. We're going to do face mesh, do, 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 do. face mesh. And then we are going to add a material, right click. We're going to rename it blur. Sure. Okay. And then it's going to be retouching and so this is really good for like makeup ones or i mean anyone making a filter should probably do some type of skin smoothing um just like be a nice person okay so we got the blur so that's the now we already have a filter it's the blur but we're gonna make this super cool and i'm going to add as you can see my desktop is on there Okay, I'm gonna go up here again, add an object, canvas, insert, right click, rectangle, and then we're gonna go to texture, choose file, voila, I'm a genius. See, anyone can do it, even my dumb dumb. I have TikTok songs stuck in my head. We'll try the marble. Mar oh, yes. Marble. Okay, and then to save it, you go to file. Save. We'll call it marble. <laughs> We're creative. And then um, export. It all is all good. It has the three checks. We'll call it marble again. There it goes, exporting. And then you press Open Spark AR Hub. Um, don't mind all the tabs. I have ADHD as prescribed by my doctor. So how to do the vintage retro cam filter. Okie dokie. So, as you can see here for the retro cam filter, I did the face mesh and then I also added dust. So, for that, I'll put links below where you can download them, but it's basically just PNG files of dust 
and you can invert the colors if you want. I just kept it the same. So you can see it here, what it looks like when you download it. Something like this. So you know, you know the overlay situation. So on this one, I added that as you can see here and you can change the opacity. So it's a, that's all the way, but I made it at 18. So it's just like really light and you can only, you can tell better when you are on your phone. Here, let's make this bigger. See, it's like kind of there. And then this is, I'll rename this, Kodak Film Order. Okay, so as you can see, this is how, this is a super easy way. I'll walk you through it one more time just really quickly. So we did the whole face tracker, face mesh to smooth the skin, 50%. Then we did the canvas and rectangle and that was, f the first one was for the vibe look, the dust. And then after that, I added the Kodak Porta border. So the final result is this. And you can mess around and add different opacities and different colors, like some people could, do orange to make them look themselves look tanner, etc. Um, and then you just to export it, you know the drill. File. Export. All those things. Open Spark Air Hub. Here we go. As of today, I don't think any of my filters have been approved. They're all in review still. So this takes up to 10 days. Um, but as you can see, this one I called Film Border. I'm gonna walk you through all the things you need to do when submitting. So, as you can see here, 10 days, da da da. I wish it would be faster. Okay. So you name the effect, you have to have an effect icon and it's really important to know that, note that if there's any text, it'll call, it'll say it's hard to read and it will deny you, that happened to me. Okay, and then you answer these questions, category, I put camera styles because it is a retro cam and then it's gonna send you a link to use it and so you can make an example, this is mine. Um, ignore the audio. So when people are looking to see what it'll look like in the app, this is what it'll show them. And then this is the thumbnail. And yeah, you do a little description for review. And so I said, film border, vintage camera border, the effect has skin smoothing, dust for the vintage effect, and a film camera border. And that's it. And then you just wait. Some other important things to note that I had difficulty with and it took me going back a couple times to understand it was, so all of the assets are going to be underneath or they're gonna be part of the canvas slash rectangle. See, this is rectangle zero zero and the material down here, it's dust. So we added that asset under here. So when you, we added that, over here is where we can adjust everything. So here's where you upload it. It's standard. The tile and offset, you want it to be one-to-one. -one. And the opacity is where you can adjust the opacity. Um, and then go back to rectangle zero. Up here, this is where you decide how big you want it to be. So if there was something that you wanted to be smaller, you adjust it up here. This is like the sizing. And you want the scale to be one and one, position zero, zero. But if you want to change the position, this is what, how you would do it. So say you had a text, then the position, you would just keep adjusting that. I did a text on here. As you can see, it's right here. It's, it's my handle. And I made the size 100 by 100. And then I put the text in here because branding. 
and then you adjust the color, the font size, the font, and here's the alignment. And line spacing, letter spacing, so if I want to do like, oof, that's too much. Like that, and then uh, I would change So now it's in line with everything. You can adjust the rotation. So it's gonna be 90 if you want it to be going this way. If it's this way, it is zero. So you get the idea. So you want all the dust filters to fill the whole screen. And then for the border, this is gonna vary, but you wanna try and, you're gonna to have to make it a PNG before you insert it. So I did that already. Most rectangle objects will fit or you could stretch them to fit. But yeah, so just wanted to note that. So it's canvas, go underneath the rectangle. Rectangle is where you put your material, which is one of these assets. That asset you adjust over here. So I hope that makes sense to you guys. If this doesn't make sense to you yet, just keep practicing and it will come to you and it'll be super easy after you give it a couple tries. Voila, I hope that was helpful. Let me know. Send me your guys' Instagram story filters when you finish them. I would love to see the creative things that you guys make. And that's all. Peace out.